Every hour, the little blue train departs from the main square for a sightseeing tour of the city. But in the summer months, it would be a pity to ride a closed carriage. That's why a new service has just been introduced. The convertible bus for open air sightseeing. Goran Mesic is the driver. I drive the tourists. This tourist line was started two weeks ago. The trip takes one hour. We hop in, the tour is starting. Riding through the city centre, we arrive to the House of Painters. The work of the famous Meštrovic. Now we see what is probably the most beautiful park in Zagreb, Srinjevac. It is continued by a string of parks called the Green Horseshoe. We pass by the railway station, and then the Hotel Esplanade, which used to welcome the Orient Express passengers. The Botanical Gardens flashes by. The State Archive, the pinnacle of secession in Zagreb. Gliding by Hotel Weston, we reach the Croatian National Theatre, surrounded by magnificent palaces. The street of Gundelicheva is a typical street of the lower town. But now we go to the upper town, passing by the famous street of all, Ilica. We continue slowly through the old cobblestone streets since there is much to see. The Lotorschak Tower, which shoots its cannon at noon every day. The Church of St. Catherine. The Museum of Klovicevi Dvori is showing a controversial exhibition, Bodies Revealed. We pass by the stone gate and enter the street of Opatichka, the Nun Street. This street has the city museum and the observatory in the priest's tower. We go down from the upper town, but then we climb again to reach the most beautiful cemetery of Europe, Miragoy. Finally, we go back to some classic Zagreb landmarks, such as the Park of Rinyak and the Cathedral. Let's finally meet one of the passengers that shared the ride with us. I come from Gumersbach. It's near Cologne. I'm very satisfied. It's wonderful. My parents live here and I come once every few years. And it's good for lulling children to sleep.